In this video I'm gonna show you that minimalistic and moody animation. By the way, if I were you, I'd probably wait for the final touches because this was literally what brought this animation to life. So with that being said, let me take you straight to the software. Alright, so we're back in After Effects, let me just show you the comp settings. And the first thing we're gonna do is head over here and I'm gonna grab the rounded rectangle tool. So now I'm just gonna create such a shape, something along those lines. I'm gonna recenter and then we're gonna bump up the roundness. We kinda wanna have almost a circle. Yeah, something like that should do. Then also in the shape properties, I'm gonna turn off stroke and I'm gonna turn on fill. I'm gonna change it to something like black or grayish. Let's hit okay. All right, so we got our shape and the next thing I'm gonna do is create a new adjustment layer. And here we're gonna add the effect called CC light sweep. Then I'm gonna make sure that the center is in the center. So let's just do it manually. I'm gonna change the direction to zero. We're gonna drag the sweep intensity to zero and we're gonna probably bump up the width. Also, maybe let's change the color for something like orange. Let's hit OK. Then I'm gonna keyframe the direction. I'm gonna make sure that the time indicator is in the beginning. I'm gonna duplicate the adjustment layer. We could actually rename it. So let me just do it real quick. So now I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna set the direction to 90. We're gonna do it two more times. This time it's gonna be 180 and one last time it's gonna be 270. So we should have something like that. I'm gonna move the time indicator forward, select all of them, hit U, and then I'm just gonna make sure that all the first keyframes are selected, and we're just gonna slightly drag it to the right. Let's extend the keyframes, and that nice subtle movement is looking pretty sick. I'm gonna head back to the project, I'm gonna drag the AE logo onto the timeline, I'm gonna definitely decrease the size. We're also gonna pre-compose it, let's call it logo, and let's add some effects. I'm gonna add tint, also I think we're gonna add deep glow, but I'm gonna do it later on for the best performance, and also I'm gonna add some text. So the first one is gonna be Bart VFX, then I'm gonna change it to white. Also, I'm gonna change the font style to maybe light. I'm gonna turn off the caps and let me just scale it down. All right, I'm gonna put it somewhere here. I'm gonna decrease the font size. I'm gonna duplicate and put it to the right bottom corner. Let's add some text. I'm gonna scale it down even more. Okay. Something that looks extremely cool is playing around with the feather in the mask. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. I'm gonna grab the rounded rectangle tool or just rectangle tool. And we're just gonna trim it like that. I'm gonna hit F and we're gonna bump up the feather. Let me just play around with the expansion. Okay, starts to look pretty sick. And I'm gonna do the same for the other layer. So I'm just gonna do it like that. Or maybe on the opposite side it would look better. So let's do it like that. That might be better. So it's the most visible towards the middle. Then I'm gonna probably add that deep glow to the logo. And it should look pretty cool. I'm just gonna decrease the exposure to 0.3. Now we're gonna pre-compose all the layers. Let's go to animation. And let's add some adjustment layers, we just need to spice it up. So for this, I'm gonna add Gaussian Blur. Let's bump it up to maybe 10. I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and we're just gonna cut it in half. Or maybe let's put it a bit lower. I'm also gonna add Feather, just soften it out. And maybe I went overboard, like five should be fine. Then I'm gonna create another adjustment layer and I'm just gonna rename the first one. This one is gonna be called Noise and we're gonna add Noise Effect. I'm just gonna bump it up to seven and I'm gonna uncheck Use Color Noise already looking pretty sick. Then we obviously need a vignette. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. Let's bump it up. Then the next thing is gonna be color grading. So I'm just gonna add Lumetri color. I'm gonna go to the color wheels and I feel like we need to rub the shadows towards the blue. I'm gonna decrease it a bit. It's already looking so nice. Maybe let's add a background underneath. So we're just gonna grab something grayish. I'm gonna hit okay. Let's rename to BG, put it here. Is it even making any difference? Yeah, it is actually. I'm just wondering about that blur. It might be better without it. Or you know what? We can try something. I'm gonna change it to horizontal and bump it up. Actually, not that bad. All right, the final decision, I'm just gonna change it to actually leave it at five and we're gonna leave the mask like it is. All right, so we got a perfect animation. Honestly, for the time we spent, I think this animation is pretty sick. So yeah, without dragging it out any longer, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.